Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you as is usual. So for this one we're going to go to Spain. So this is my very very first Spanish craft beer review. Never tried anything Spanish in that regard so it will be very very interesting I'm sure. We're going to go to Valencia for this one and uh, this uh, brewery is called Micro Cerveceria Tyrus de Valencia and the beer is called Paqui Brown. So it's a brown ale and I mean how often do you get the chance to say that you're, you're trying a Spanish craft brown? so it should be a very very interesting beer review for us to do but as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll take you through a very short history of the brewery it is very very short for this one uh, and but if you are simply interested in the tasting of this beer just fast forward a few minutes and you'll avoid that and get straight to the tasting the brewery websites in the video description for you below although it all is in Spanish and there is the link there too to my future Cervezeria de Tyrus uh, beer reviews there will be another one or two of these added in the quite near future so keep an eye on that so anyway, Cerveceria de Tyrus. This brewery is based in Valencia in Spain and it was founded in 2009 by two guys, Gonzalo and Daniel. And they met while they were studying about beer in Germany and they decided, they sort of shared the desire to travel further throughout Europe and expand their beer knowledge. So they did that. But the pair felt that Valencia didn't have any beer of the same quality that they tasted in Germany. So they decided that they would take it into their, their own hands and wanted to do, the, to do it correctly themselves, I guess they would say. But Gonzalo and Daniel also run craft beer courses alongside their brewery as a means of kind of promoting the uh, the sort of uh, reputation of craft beer within Spain. Obviously, as as you would probably guess with the fact that you can't get Spanish craft beer that much, you would guess it's a bit more of a kind of underground thing than it is in the likes of Belgium and Germany and even uh, England and Scotland these days, I guess. But um, they say that it was it's been very very rewarding for them to run these classes and sort of raise awareness about Spanish craft beer and they've seen the growth in the uh, in the sort of Spanish craft beer movement little by little. But they also do various tasting sessions apparently around the different locations that stock their beer in Valencia and Alicante. They say there's about 120 or so locations in Valencia where you can pick up this beer and around 50 in Alicante as well. You're talking when it comes to Valencia. In case you don't know, you're talking sort of around the kind of southeastern Spain region. I guess just around there and it's meant to be a very very beautiful city I've never been over to Spain or mainland Spain and actually explored it's something I would love to do at some point is start in the south and go all the way north and you know pick up a few little craft beers from Spain along the way it should be a really really awesome place so hopefully at some point I will actually get around to doing that but anyway we'll get on to the tasting of this beer now that was your very kind of short history of the Micro Cervezeria de uh, Tyrus de Valencia they only do six beers and I do have one more to review for you so you can look forward to that but this guy as I said to you is the Packy Brown it's a 5.2% brown ale that uses Simcoe hops and caramel apparently so I'll just bring up the camera let you have a nice little close look at the artwork there you can see it's a kind of nice uh, black woman with uh, with her kind of afro sort of thing going on there black women always do have really cool hair actually I have to say that but it's quite nice it's quite nice little bit of artwork and all the artwork on their beers is quite different there's not really a kind of a uh, sort of standard style for it I guess and uh, you can see there it's got a unique bottle cap as well so you can collect these on this one it does have a little bit of uh, stuff in Spanish in there but I'm not a, a Spanish speaker I studied Italian and French at school I've got no much I've not got much idea about uh, Spanish there just I think it just says it has a little I think I'm not exactly sure what it says at all but I'll need to keep the way it says it's a I think it just says it's a quite intense brown ale it's hopped with Simcoe and caramel and things like that. I guess it's just kind of saying exactly what, how I've described it to you there. You can check out this again on the brewery website. If you're a Spanish speaker, obviously, you'll get a bit more out of it than I did. But let's get this guy open and get on with the tasting here. So my very first Spanish craft beer. So we'll get this guy open. There you are, a nice kind of smoky opening there. And let's get this guy out. It's a lot brighter looking than I expected, I have to admit. Just sugar up the last little bit. So it's come out quite nicely there. A little bit of sediment I could just see going into the uh, into the bottle, into the glass there. So I'll just bring up the light and I'll let you have a kind of closer look at the colour and stuff of this one. 
As you can see, if I bring this up to you there, it's actually, that light's just a little bit high. That's probably better, actually. You can just see it's this kind of quite nice, dark, orangey-amber colour. It's got a finger of a kind of frothy, creamy-coloured head, actually. Very, very attractive-looking beer. If I put my fingers behind it, you can see it is quite opaque. You're not going to see much light coming through that one there. There is a little bit of sediment on the bottom when I've had this beer stored for a little bit so that's kind of what you would expect but yeah very kind of attractive kind of dark amberish colour beer actually looks really nice I expected it to be a lot darker than that but I kind of I would say that's fair a dark orangey amber colour beer kind of a lot lighter than you would expect for a brownie I think that's fair to say but let's give it a smell and we'll see how we get on here. So it's very hoppy actually, for a brown ale it is actually a very hoppy smelling beer. You can pick up a lot of the citricky element of the, uh, of the, of the Simcoe coming out there. A little bit of grapefruit in there too, it does have a little bit of a tropical element. The kind of Simcoe hop. It's very an attractive smell and if you sort of... If you take it in a bit more deeply that's when you're starting to get the caramel and a little bit of the chocolate coming out as well. So there's a good bit of chocolate and roasted caramel in there. It smells nutty as well, but a lot of citrusy and, uh, and grapefruit character coming out in the aroma. And there's almost a little bit of a woody character to it as well, so I'm sure you'll pick that up yourself if you try this guy. But let's give it a taste and see how we get on here. It's really interesting that actually. On the one hand, it's almost like a hybrid beer, this, somewhere between a pale ale, American pale ale, and a brown ale, actually. Yeah, in the background of this beer, you have the chocolate malts, the roasted caramel. The caramel is quite dark on this one, I should say. It is more of a roasted caramel than a sweet caramel. There's a tiny, tiny little bit of chocolate or kind of dark chocolate sort of coffee-ish taste to it but on top of that you've got a really bright kind of citrusy hop it's a very kind of unusual blend of flavours yeah you've got this real background of kind of roasted caramel slightly dark chocolate coffee notes There's a bit of a kind of sweet yeasty bread character in this one as well, which is quite interesting. But yeah, you're getting a lot of kind of citrusy sort of floral character coming out in the end, and that sticks with it to the aftertaste as well, so very, very unique in that sense. As I'm saying, it's really unusual to have that kind of nice, dark malty backbone that you would expect of a brownie and then to have this kind of sweet and slightly fruity hoppy top to the beer it's very very unusual but yeah the sort of citrusy fruit from the Simcoe hop is coming and sitting just on the very front of the uh, of the tongue there and you're getting the dark sort of coffee-ish malts just sitting towards the edges at the back of the tongue and in the middle you get this sort of roasted coffee thing on the edges and then the caramel just goes up the middle of the tongue slightly and it's it's got this kind of sweet yeasty character coming out a little bit as well you definitely have just a little bit of a, a woody character to this one as well Yeah, the wood character is just going right up the middle of the tongue there, but you're getting this fresh kind of uh, resin, sort of resiny citrus Simcoe hop just going around the edge of the tongue, and you've got the roasted caramel and chocolate and the little bit of woody flavour and nuts going right up the middle of the tongue there. As I'm saying, the, the thing that's really interesting about this beer is that it seems to be a very kind of unique combination of two styles, if you like. It's advertised as a brown ale, but there's definitely a kind of pale ale part to this beer as well, and it, but it does have the background of a brown ale. In terms of the mouthfeel of this one though, it's quite light bodied, quite soft carbonation actually, it just has a tiny little bit of an attack but overall the beer is very very smooth, it's got a slightly oily mouthfeel as well but 
and it's quite wet at the same time. It's a really wet, oily mouthfeel, really. That's probably the best way to say it. And it does have just a tiny little bit of dry character from the Simcoe hop that hits the front of the tongue there. You are getting a bit of the kind of bitter dryness from the sort of dark chocolatey and, uh, and caramel malts just hitting the back of the tongue there. But yeah, I mean, overall, um, this is a beer I think you definitely should try. It's, it's a very interesting hybrid of the, uh, of the different styles of beer that you would expect. I think it's got a little bit of an American paleo quality to it, but at the same time, it does have that malty backbone of a brown ale, as you would expect. So a very, very interesting beer that I highly recommend trying. And I hope that, you know, if Spanish beer do really does take off, that they continue in this kind of experimental fashion. But anyway, um, I would highly recommend that you try this beer from Cervezzeria, Micro Cervezzeria Tyrus de Valencia. Um, I have one of their other beers, which I think is the... Uh I can't remember exactly what one is. I think it's the Cervezza, Cervezza Tyrus or something they call this one. But I'll be reviewing that for you, I guess, in the next, in the coming few days. That beer kind of goes out of date very soon, so you will see it at some point quite soon. Check out the brewery website and have a look at their other beers they do there. There's only six of them, but they are very experimental. And you might, if you do take a trip to Spain, you can go and learn about craft beer with these guys, which is always quite good. So please let me know in the comments section your own thoughts on this beer. Always interesting to hear that if you do happen to have tried it. I thank you again for your support over my kind of two, 290 or so videos that I've done for you now and uh, please like subscribe share all the usual YouTube stuff I hope you've enjoyed this review and there will be many more to come cheers